do the same much here. Come on, get closer. Not that close. How's it going, everybody? This is Slayer's Dre, and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. In the last episode, we built this farmhouse, got a baryonyx. He's all uh, imprinted and everything. And so, what's on the agenda for today? Today, we shall run over here. Turn it on. Did I turn it on? Yeah, I think I did. We're gonna start off with getting some stuff needed to go underwater. Let's go ahead and get that going. We're gonna get some scuba. Scuba gear. Ah! Oh! Do it again. There you go. We're just gonna do the very basic level of gear. We don't need too much. We just need enough to breathe in the weather for a long period of time. And why are we gonna do that? We're gonna do that. So we can hunt like two megalodons. There's actually two oh, come on, baby. too close together, so it's like I don't even really have to go too far. Where are they? They're over here somewhere. There's messing with a the giant turtle over here somewhere. Where is it? I heard it. There's a 140 male and female over here somewhere. There's the female, where's the male? Oh, he must have ran off somewhere else. Or it's in... Was that four of them? Yeah, there it is. The male popped up. So, we'll probably get those, and if we find any higher, we'll go after those. And as you can see, they're quite close to base. So... Because I don't want to have to venture out too far. Trying to find the best of everything. No. We don't need that. They're gonna be the two bottom cells will be powerful as is. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take this Baryonyx. He still needs a name. I'm not gonna call him Barry like I called the one that was on the stream world, even though at the moment. Sorry, we're not really streaming it at the moment, so... Because... I think it's... I want to do things with you for the first time on this world. Not do it twice, do it once there, then come back and try to... quickly replicate it. No, I want to do it all at once. But, I just want to put it out there. If you like the video so far, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and slay the notification bell. It really does help me out a lot to help promote the channel because I would like to continue doing this. And also, I stream over on Twitch. Link's down in the description below. I stream three days a week. And come on out. I play a bunch of different games and try to have fun. I just recently started doing a monthly game night so right at the moment is we're just playing jackbox party pack so it's every second tuesday so come on out um there's gonna be some additional rules for the next time i do it i have that fully laid out by then but i do wish y'all would come on out but, at the moment, let's get on here. And I'm already ready. I have, actually. I'm missing one thing. I need this. I need the raw map. And best thing is, this guy's not gonna eat the raw map. So let me go ahead and oh, I want to wear it. Good items. Ooh, I got a little turkey. 
Ooh. We are ready. For an underworld adventure. To get some sharkies. Let's try. Bombs away! Watch out for the mantas. Mainly just watch out for the mantas and um, it's still a little dark down here. Yeah, that icky's gonna leave us alone for the most part. Let's. Hold on, was the Megalodon 140? Or just, it was, or was the big guy 140? Hmm. I'm gonna try to hit these guys, get their attention. Ew. Oh, they're coming soon. Up. I thought he was gone. He was just out of render range. Uh, what? Actually, let me get out of that for a second. Take a look around. This is why the scuba gear is important. Better with oxygen. I read him. Oh, that's the 50. I'm very paranoid down here. They're all just frenzying after this. Big guy. Look at big guy. Keep missing. I probably could take off the scuba mask actually. Got something. I got big guy, didn't I? Ah, you scared the crap out of me. Ah! Ooh, I put the one I wanted to sleep. Let's get rid of the rest. Get rid of you. She's gonna be asleep for a minute. I just need to. Oh, that's a 130. I don't want that. I just wanna check the surroundings, make sure we're safe. Nine. Pretty nice. Staying fine. I don't know why I said that. 
Alright, so let's get off. Let's get our mutton back. Let's put you away. So, we're going to have to go on a hunt for another Megalodon. Yep, stand away from jellyfish. Jellyfish are bad. They can knock me off my mount. So... Ooh, that's 140 right there. I think that's who we'll go after. Ah, uh, there's a bunch over here. Hmm. Don't be scared. Let's do this. And that's a donkey. I don't know how I feel about that donkey right there. Uh, but I only got 13 arrows left. How do we want to play this? It'd be fun if I hit the right one. I'm so paranoid. Right now, <laughs> you don't understand. Then the world is so. It's just as scary as it's up top. Alright, let's pull out the shotgun. Oh, can't fire it underwater. That's no fun. Can I fire this underwater? Nope. The only crossbow. Give me a second, guys. All right, guys. <clears throat> We're back online, as you can see. And I decided... Actually, I kind of remembered. There's a 150 somewhere. That I really wanted before when I was scouting out. What is this? No fragments. But I will take all of that. The rest of it, meh, don't need it. It can despawn eventually. So let's get on this. And we're gonna fly over to the blue island. And head over to like the I don't wanna get down too low. I already fell off my mind because it touched because I touched water. Rosa was a little too efficient. So, we're going to head over here, and there is a max level over here somewhere. There is a bass level over here, but it's only level 20. And we don't want a level 20 bass level, so it can stay as is. I believe it's over here. But I gotta find a decent place to perch. Elsa at the moment. There's the 20. Ah, oh, there it is. The 150. Look, tons of trilobites over here too. Penguins are a decent source of um of a uh, organic pollen. But and you 
take all the food. And let's put the gear back on. So as you can see, we've been on the underwater for not too long. You saw me make the you saw me make this scuba gear. Actually, I'm not going to put on my mask. Let's do. Uh, Mantis tend to leave you alone, for the most part. Oh, that's the one I want. That thing's gonna drive me crazy. But I want to kill this one. Oop, oop. Doom pass? Thinking thing. Not really. Alright, you wanna follow me? Come this way. I'll eat you. Hee <laughs> hee. Don't leave me alone. Let that be a lesson to all your cousins. So, we're good. Let's get the food back. Back to base because it's not gonna take too long. All right, guys, we're back at base. We're gonna head down here, and we're actually gonna start walling off where our little base is gonna be down here. There's a lot of mantas over here. Yeah, and I think unless you're close to like a basilo or something, mantas don't really mess with you, or if you attack them. Then they come in rounds. Which, in this case, this one has to go. It's too close. But I think I did it quick enough to where the rest of them won't congregate. I think, anyway. Oh, that's what it looks like. So, that's what I'm going to stick with. Whoa, that was a long. You saw that, right? That was like a long jump out. So we're gonna go right here. We're gonna be on and off of baryonics as we're doing this. And I found the best way to like foundation for for this. Let's use the S plus foundations. And I want to start it like right there. They will actually not in place quite nicely. And as you can see, I'm just going to keep doing this and to where it steps down. Like, nothing's perfect, but it's good enough. So, uh, I'm going to be doing this back and forth for a while. And there's something interesting happening. I'll let you. Alright. We finished laying out. The foundations. And it, as you see, we started up there. You see it steps down. Once we reach the bottom. Comes across. And eventually it turns. Goes straight into this little ridge line. Got a nice little area. But where will I put the gate? Kind of want it... Here. I hate that thing. 
Yeah, I kind of want to put it right here. And I put on this, I put on this scuba tank. So I can stay in the water longer. I have to worry about suffocating. that would do. Yeah, that would do. And then we just take the gate, stick it in, and as you can see, it sticks outside. So we got a nice little, so you can see it from above ground. Even though if you're playing PvP, you don't really want that. But in our case, we're not. So I had a hundred Foundation pieces, and I use 74, even though I did just make another 100 before I started. Um, I would give you... Um, but, let me put that on this one for a second. I still need to get a new metal helmet. And also upgraded the uh, scuba tank and the upgrade stations all the way up to Ascendant. So let's do this because we're gonna need. Uh, we're not gonna need all 74 of these, and I'm still carrying too much. Can I carry 20? Nope, I can't even carry 20. We're gonna use our baryonyx to carry most of these for us. So, since he can hold a lot of weight, he can take everything down with us. So all we gotta do is um, place them. Put them on. Put it this way. Since I know I can kind of run with the lever. So I just want to quickly do this and get this cake together. And... Oops. Wrong place. Over here, Jay. Over here. And... Yeah, we just want to do this. I'm going to be doing this for a few minutes. So... I'm also going to bring some regular walls too because the regular walls will help out with um because I think I need to go too high in some areas to fully oh, so can do anything. Nah, I can't um yeah in some places you need to go too high and in some areas you can't use these these walls that I'm using because they're four high already so kind of need that little extra 30, 13? yes because at the beginning where they're stepped on over the they're not needed you only need these we would do we'll be doing that with the the words words in that much And what else? Ah, there we go. Running so fast I'm just having Alright, how much weight is that? If I can get rid of half and be okay. More than okay. And I think that's all we need is fifty. Uh, eh. Can't carry all that. Hmm. Oh, I can get rid of these. I'm gonna give it a walk. Pretty sure.
Not 100% confident. And then we shot that. Nope, still can't move. Uh, just barely. Right, let me get off for a second. Can you walk now? Can. Alright. So we just get you. So follow me. We're gonna be a little cheaty. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, where'd you go? Ah, you're very, very slow. Wee. So we're going to go ahead and finish this off. And then we got to get another feeding trough down here. We should be all set. Are you coming? Oh. Oh, you got stuck because I went. I turned too quickly. And I can't see because of the bushes. Yeah, yeah, come on. Let's, let's go ahead and do these while we wait for this little baryonyx to get over to us. Where did we start at? It's over here somewhere. Ah, it's over here near this rock. Stuff I want. Ah, I was close. Just couldn't see. Don't need one there because nothing in the end of the world. Nothing here can get that high. And I will leave it like. Actually, I would just put one there. No, you can't. And I see my nemesis of a... Of a... Bird is over here. Icky Thornis. I don't like you. Go away. Alright. But let's go and put this down. Let's actually go over here to where we finished it. And I'll show you what I mean by you still need a couple more to go up. Okay, this is roughly the same deep area. And As you can see, it doesn't reach all the way up. And if, and if we put another one here, actually, this one can work too high. Some of them can't. So actually, we need some more. Somehow get another foundation in there to kind of block this off that way. That's gonna be a little annoying. But I'm just gonna be doing this back and forth for a bit. Wait, can I whistle him from up from down here? See y'all guys in a few. Hey guys. <coughs> Sorry. Um, as I was gathering more wooden stone, I don't know if this is completely fixed, but remember how I was talking about that 
doing the spacebar attack, I wasn't get hit in the wood. I think it's been fixed. So now, the moment is now it's all powering so forget wood, thatch, berries. So I think that's the patch. And I and I like it. Cause I prefer because if I take a mammoth out there to where anything else can like attack and stuff. I'm not too worried. And I say that because if they knock me off, I'm still going to be right on top of it, not on the ground. So I can quickly get back on. Unlike if it's, uh, I'm, I'm with the beaver and I'm all the way on the ground. So, I just wanted to say that real quick as we... As I'm moving, shuffling materials around. Still too heavy. Nah. Alright. I bring you back when I have more updates in the a little new area. Alright. We are back. And all I'm doing is adding enough so that nothing can really get over. I may just pick another one. It's gonna look kind of ugly. Maybe we fix it up like a little better than this. It won't go around here. I just want to make sure that nothing, nothing gets in here. I want it to be a completely safe space while I'm in here breeding, doing everything that you need to do, and then. Underwater, underwater. So, I don't know why those are turning that way. I didn't notice that when I was doing it earlier. Alright, that's done. Got 12 left. A lot of evil birds are stuck in the rock. Get it in a minute. And this side is good. Now, look. All this is for breeding. Some more extra uh, we have um, words words what's my words um we're gonna place this I'm gonna kinda line it up right here actually I'm gonna put that right there I'm going to stick a little bit of fishy in here. And let me grab our two new pets. I think I like I hope they come out with this blue there's like this grayish blue I really like that but it would be easier to pick out pick out mine even though I typically have the awesome spyglass on I can easily pick them out with the green highlight but the little black on top's not terrible but I prefer the look of this it's more like a true great rap yeah great white so we'll let them get their groove on in a minute after I get some regular meat and stick in there all right I haven't done with you very yet. as you can see everything grew back from the last time you saw me run down that hill and I'm having an egg convention over here ah, I don't want that 
not just with that one. Also, over here with the Tech Raptor. I think I got them all. Alright. So, turn this back to here. These eggs are just regular eggs. Yeah, I'll go in here. But I really don't need the suit anymore. At the moment, anyway. So, we'll toss that in there. I need to take all the rest of the building materials off of the baryonics. But, I'll do that later. Right now. Almost get as much meat as I carry. Because most of the meat I stick in here anyway. Because either I'm taking it off of Elsa, Brezzo, or Theo here. One of the projects I would also want to do is build, like I kind of started on my stream world, but as I said earlier, I'm not going to continue it because I just want to play on here, on this world. So I want to build a bridge from here, from this island to that main island. That shall be. Then once that's complete, then I'll like I can take out Manny or Lucy without having to place them in a cryo ball. I forgot something. Exactly. Without placing them in a cryo ball and um, bringing them back and forth, I'm taking my alder off my shoulder in case in one of those winter wonderlands where it's really really cold. I mean, Megalodon side. That's a Daydon. That's a best now. Uh, oh uh, no, I'm not using that. Capro. Yeah. Uh, I just looked at that one. Slow down, okay? Slow down. No, this isn't the one. Which one is this? Oh, that's a Megalosaurus. I went to Megalodon. I don't... I didn't get a Megalodon saddle. Alright. Looks like we're making the primitive ones. I think this in here. For some reason, I still can't see what things look like. Why is Caplax on? The Miyami. I wonder if the modder added any of the new creatures to this map. Yep. Yeah. I did have an issue where when I logged on, all my stats were zero, so a lot of these um, saddles that I may have had before aren't there anymore. I'll make that on myself. Okay. And I'll make two. But I will make another eventually. I'll probably make three more and I'll make them I can get longer using the uh, bond that's called the uh, upgrade station Same with you. Come on, get closer. Not that close. And let's 
let's start the breeding process. Now this is going to take a little while. So I'll bring it back once we have some babies. Second cuddle of the last Baglodon that we're gonna breed today. Oh, look at that. Got some pretty good melee there. Even uh, this one is slightly higher level because it has mutation. It's not in melee. What is the mutation in? Let's find out. Looks like it's the mutation. It's in speed. Which. Is it in speed or it's in. I can't really tell. It's in something. I know the speed's different because they didn't. The speed didn't go work the same. When I was doing the breeding and I didn't care at that point. But here is our new lineup. I'm gonna work on getting better saddles. And hold on. I had to upgrade the gamma a bit, but Gonna work on getting um, saddles, for, um, ascendant level saddles for these. Um, this one that I'm on, and the one right beside it is the male. I'll probably take the one on the other side of this one as well, and those will be my. I would take those three with me, but I think that's gonna call it for this episode. We got some megalodons, we created this enclosure, and I think that's a pretty good way to end the episode, but like I said, if you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button, slide the notification bell, and I'm over on Twitch, every Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, unless something else comes up, and I usually put the announcements out into onto my Twitter or and also onto my gilded server. Um it's, it's still new. Still trying to make it do stuff to I think would help enhance it. So if you want to get regular updates or even just chat with me offline, you can find me on my gilded server. So, I will leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the episode, and I will see you next time. See you later, everybody.